Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and today in this video, we are going to review the trades taken on Friday, which is 29th of October 2021. So after close to 14 days or two weeks, we finally have a big loss. So which is around uh, 2 lakh. So for the past 14 days, I think almost from 13th or 14th of October, so we had continuous trick of profit every day. We had a positive M to M and uh, yesterday when bank nifty actually fell, uh, we had a big loss. So we are going to discuss more about the same. How exactly did we end in this particular stage and then what exactly is the position right now? And I'm also going to later touch upon the community trade. What exactly do we plan to do moving forward and what is the market outlook? for the coming week. So all this will be covered in this video and this will be fairly short video. We'll try to keep things pretty crisp, right? Uh, so the thing is, uh, you can see that uh, right over here, the M2M is not updated because today is a Sunday, but you can see the P&L right over here, we have a loss of close to two lakh. So first I'll try to tell you what exactly happened. So when I come to sensible and show you the saved strategy, along with the community trade, we had also taken few more additional trades. So this is all of those put together along with the community trade, which we had taken. So the thing is uh, on Thursday, while we were trading, there was one mistake which I did. So the thing is, there is this position of 39,500 right over here. So this is 80 lots sold. So what I did was while I was making the payoff graph, I actually ended up adding this. So 39,500 I have added on sensible and the payoff looked really good. And I had absolutely no need to worry about markets falling down because I never had a loss at all in the first place. So it was available somewhere close to around 500 or 600 rupees on Thursday itself. So I assumed that, okay, I have put it on sensible and I have assumed that I have actually shorted this as well. And this is my payoff graph. And I was very happy with my payoff graph and everything of that sort. Later, I get to see that I actually haven't shorted that particular call option itself. So this is not exactly my payoff graph, whereas I have a downside where I'll be going to a loss. So even though it was limited, for example, if I remove this, you can see that the loss was limited to four and a half lakh, no matter what. So, but the thing is, I had assumed that I had shorted this option, which I actually hadn't. So that's the reason yesterday when the market fell. So morning I opened terminal around 9.20 and I was expecting to have a pretty good M to M. But for my surprise, when I actually opened, I saw a huge loss of around 3 lakh and later it recovered. So I was pretty surprised or shocked initially, but uh, later I realized what was the mistake I had done. So what happened here was again pretty unfortunate because I saw these call legs were missing and I shorted these call legs at one of the lowest points, somewhere around 39,000. And immediately we saw some huge bounce back in the market and this entire position got messed up because of that. So right now, uh, this is the trade what we hold. So this is the exact trade what we hold. And in case if the market ends up consolidating, we should be more or less getting back the entire uh, two lakh what we have lost. But the thing is, I won't be holding this trade till the end. So most likely by tomorrow, I'll be squaring off this entire position. This trade will eventually go to a loss. So if I actually square off, I don't think entire loss will be recovered, but that is absolutely fine because uh, we had miscalculated and this entire thing happened. So if we can maybe reduce the loss from the existing two lakh, somewhere less than one lakh, then we can recover it in the upcoming trade. So that is for the existing position, what we have. Coming to community trade, we had totally taken six trades out of that all six are right now profitable. So what we will do right now is we have this trade open and running. So this position is already giving us a profit close to 11,000 rupees. So we won't continue to hold this any longer because uh, we will square this off. We will take two new entries, one for this week as well as one for next week. So one for next week will be pretty crucial because we have two holidays and the theta decay will be pretty high. So even though the break even is coming after 41,000, 
So it's pretty likely that we will be ending up making the entire 18,000 rupees as our profit. But we don't want to hold this because we have got almost 12,000 already, 11,000 and odd or around 12,000 already. So we can square this up and enter better trades. So there are way better trades than to hold this till the end of the week and get another 7,000. So we will do that tomorrow. We'll square off this entire position and we will enter two new trades. So one for this week as well as one for next week. And again, if it goes wrong, again, we'll be adjusting as usual. And uh, the thing is overall, the community trade performance has been quite good for this particular week. So you can see that we started entering only after 20th and we have done fairly well. We have already done 60,000 on a capital of close to 25 lakhs. So this is more than 2%. So almost we are about to hit around 3% as well. So this is a pretty good performance what we have been able to achieve in the last 12 days alone, right? So that is for the community trade idea what we have. So what trade we'll be taking, I will be again discussing that tomorrow because uh, right now the idea what I have for community trade is to go ahead and take a 39,500 short straddle. So that is what I am expecting. Again, it depends on how exactly the market opens. So why 39,500 short straddle? So the idea behind that is a market is actually finding support at the lower level and then there is very strong call rating at the higher level. So that's the reason I expect the market to consolidate around 39,500. So we will have some extra hedge or closer hedge on the put side and little far away hedge on the call side and we will enter the position. So let's see how it goes. And hopefully 39,500 short straddle should work out to be pretty good. So that is my expectation. So that is for the current week trade and next week trade, we will continue the same position 39,500 short straddle itself. If something goes wrong, we can definitely adjust it again. So that is the trade idea for tomorrow and coming to the market outlook. So here, if I actually come to open interest, so yesterday also we saw a huge amount of call writing in Nifty compared to put writing. So what does all this suggest? It more or less suggests that people are not expecting market to head up pretty high. So it doesn't mean that market should fall. It just means that they're seeing a lot of resistance coming in at higher level. So when I look at bank Nifty also overall, we see a similar picture over here. So we see a huge call writing at 40,000 and some put unwinding. So this is a clear sign of market actually facing some strong resistance at 40,000. And again, 39,500 also, we saw some strong call writing and there is a very strong put writing happening at the lower level. So this is very interesting to watch. And when we look at the overall OI, so again, 40,000 remains to have the highest OI and there are some short straddles being created at 39,500 as well as 39,000. So anywhere around, if you do a 39,000 short straddle, anywhere market ending between 38,500 to 39,500 will be giving you good profits. And if you do 39,500, anywhere between 39,000 to 40,000 will be giving you good profits. So from this point, I personally don't expect a huge downside in bank nifty from this particular point. So 38,000 can more or less act as a very strong support for bank nifty because after many, many months, it has broken the level of 38,000 and it has gone well over that. So 38,000 should act as a pretty strong support to bank nifty. And I personally don't see that breaking 38,000 that is hardly 3%. So we can see some bounce back from here, maybe a pullback towards 40,000 or so on. And then what happens from there is something which is uh, very important for us to see. So this is the outlook what I have. So right now I feel that bank nifty might consolidate or find support at 38,000 for the shorter run. And we might see some consolidation happening around 39,000 as well as 39,500. Coming to nifty. Uh, so when we see the overall picture, so I personally feel that there is almost, so I wouldn't say no chance. So I personally feel that there is very, very minute chance of market crossing 18,000 this week. Look at the OI right over here. So 
there is 7.2 million call writing happening at 18000 so i hardly expect so with a very slim chance market can actually go above 18000 i personally don't expect that happening so we'll actually wait and watch to see what exactly happens so with that uh, we also come to the end of this video and it was a quick review on the positions what we are having and the community trade and the market outlook so just to summarize everything so this is our existing position which will be coming out tomorrow whether we have a profit or loss and enter new trade and same goes with the community trade as well we'll exit this and enter two new trades one for current week as well as one for the next week so it will most likely be 39500 short straddle if not it will be 39000 short straddle so we will decide upon that based on how the market opens and finally coming to the market outlook so there is a lot of call writing compared to put writing both in nifty as well as bank nifty so in bank nifty there is almost double and same case with nifty also the calls are almost double of puts so that's the reason we might not expect a huge upside so we can either expect some support coming in at lower levels or the market just crashing further from here the sentiment is surely looking bearish right so with that we also come to the end of this video and if you guys have liked this particular video then please do hit the thumbs up button share this video as well as subscribe to optionables thank you so much for joining